passengers who are anxious about flying or who experience the sense of helplessness that comes with it may become agitated or angry. Additionally, drinking above 10,000 feet altitude has stronger and quicker effects on the person. Many individuals neglect to consider this, and drinking may exacerbate any adverse reactions they may already have to fly. The third revolution the travel industry has experienced in the past 59 years is being brought on by the growth of developing economies. The first one appeared in the 1960s in the form of package trips and inexpensive air travel. People with limited resources were able to travel more, to more distant locations. From the horse and cart to the vehicle and the airplane, transportation has a history of influencing society. However, the threat posed by climate change is now influencing our globe and its transportation networks. How can we make transportation more environmentally friendly? Given that in the UK, transportation alone is responsible for over 25% of glasshouse gas emissions. dams have not been able to stop recent winter floods on Central Asian rivers, which ranks among the worst in 500800 years. In the past, river engineers have attempted to fast eliminate the water by draining it off the land and into the ocean in rivers that have been redesigned as high performance drains. We have discovered that market research does not require a high level of sophistication. For instance, we have carried out straightforward surveys in our building's lobby, providing visitors with the free goods in return for their feedback. Although some may consider this to be unscientific, we have found some very valuable highlights in this manner.
because there were fewer markings that a reader had to understand, the method got more effective as the marks grew more abstract. Technology, however, also developed in complexity as civilization did, since there were more ideas and conceptions that needed to be communicated. Many of us find both amazing and challenging to completely comprehend how birds can navigate. For instance, the Pacific Seagull's yearly migration involves a flight of well over 5,000 kilometers from Alaska to Hawaii. If the bird were to deviate by only one degree, it would miss the inland where it lay nests. It is obvious that some pick up abilities more quickly than others even among kids living in the same home. The onset ages for movement differ greatly. There may be hereditary variables at play, but they are intimately related to other factors, such as motivation and family relationships, which are likely to have an environment component. Since the extinction of mammoths occurred between 15,000 to 18,000 years ago and the end of most recent ice age, many scientists believe that the major factor in the enormous extinction was the sudden rise in temperature, which profoundly changed the flora. There is compelling evidence that the increase in temperature contributed significantly to their demise. Although man-made fibers have replaced certain uses for silk over the past 50 years, the world's silk output has increased by around a factor of two. Prior to this time, China and Japan were the two biggest producers, producing more than 60% of the world's output annually.
Most people know that Google is creating maps for the entire world. Google Street View started in 2007, with the aim of providing photographs of the streets on its maps. So a user in Tokyo, for instance, can click on a Google map of Paris or Sydney and see what or actually looks like. The photos are taken by cars that simply drive down streets capturing images with a 360-degree camera on their roof. Most graduates hope to find a job that allows them to use the knowledge and skills they learn during their studies. However, it is often the case that many work activities have nothing to do with things studied at university. For most jobs these days, you need to spend a lot of time doing paperwork, which can seem boring, and some jobs involve meeting customers. scientists can quantify haze, but opinions on other types of visual pollution are mixed. Billboards, power lines, cell phone towers, and even modern skyscrapers may elicit the variety of emotions. The billboard in a favorable location may be attractive to a business person. Technology has become an important aspect of life for people who want to get and stay fit. They use apps on their smartphones or other devices, for example, to count the number of steps they take every day, to measure their heart rate, to record their sleep patterns and to work out how many calories they consume. One of the issues with self-employed persons is that they do not have a large number of co-workers with whom to discuss job duties. As a result, individuals are forced to make significant decisions on their own, which may be quite stressful.
public demand for education has remained strong, reflecting the importance of education as a means of social progress. Aware of the social value of education to the world of the work, the government continues to innovate and update the education system in order to produce a qualified and competent workforce. Modern buildings have to achieve certain performance requirements, at least to satisfy those of building codes to provide a safe, healthy, and comfortable environment. However, these conditioned environments demand resources in energy and materials, which are both limited in supply, to build and operate. Moods may also have an effect on how information is processed, by influencing the extent to which judges rely on pre-existing, internal information, or focus on new, external information. Positive moods promote more holistic and top-down processing style, while negative moods recruit more stimulus-driven and bottom-up processing. Tests have shown that many students experience anxiety during exam weeks, which leads to poor results. As a result, some learning institutions are replacing exams with alternative assessments such as group work and oral presentations. Moods may also have an effect on how information is processed, by influencing the extent to which judges rely on pre-existing, internal information, or focus on new, external information. Positive moods promote more holistic and top-down processing style, while negative moods recruit more stimulus-driven and bottom-up processing.